I love XCOM 2. I've dropped over 100 hours and will probably continue to drop more until the day I die. Unless when XCOM 3 comes out it's disgustingly better. When I first played XCOM 2, I beat the campaign in 3 days, much to the dismay of my fiance. Whenever I boot XCOM 2, there's an audible, oh no, from behind me. I never really cared for turn-based games, they sounded boring. XCOM 2 proved to me that that is a falsehood. So today, I'd like to tell you about 3 games like XCOM 2 that I play when I feel like playing XCOM 2, but I just finished my fourth playthrough of XCOM 2, so it's too soon to play XCOM 2. First up, XCOM Chimera Squad. Chimera Squad is the natural progression from XCOM 2, as it is a sequel. And while it has a great premise, it did kind of drop the ball. The premise is that the world has united after Advent's defeat in XCOM 2. You manage a police force that deals with the remaining insurrectionists and uprisings around the city. Fucking genius idea. I love it. But it took out my favorite parts of XCOM with a dull scalpel and then pissed into the wound while yodeling the Star Trek theme. Chimera Squad gives me zero customization and trades randomly generated soldiers into characters that are set. Permadeath is gone as well, which is another huge thing that drew me into the franchise. Now the stories that your once nameless soldiers grew to have throughout your campaigns is lost, as well as that feeling of high stakes. Losing a high level soldier was an event in XCOM 2. It made you feel something, piercing regret, made you double guess every decision you made leading up to that point. It felt real. It felt fucking amazing. So they took that formula, added playable aliens, finally, and then removed what makes that formula tick. Otherwise, if you are looking for something with the XCOM universe and aesthetic, but never really loved the permadeath and stress of XCOM 2, this would be the game for you. Next up on our list of XCOM dopamine replacement, Phoenix Point. This is as close to XCOM as you're gonna get, considering this was created by a cell of ex-XCOM developers. While it has clunkier menus and some stuttering issues, the game has a similar charm to XCOM 2. The art style is nice and unique, and the enemy design in particular is quite fantastic. Now, if you have never heard of Phoenix Point, I wouldn't blame you. There was some hype for the game among fans of the genre, but after they announced the game as an Epic Store exclusive, it kind of took a bullet to the knee. Now, it took me a couple tries at this game before I really fell in love with it. It's an incredibly difficult game, to the point of being unfun at times. While the enemy design is great, they'd sometimes toss in three or four of an enemy that there should only be a 2 max of. XCOM 2 is better than this in my opinion, but this will help you have a similar experience while still unique enough to feel like a different game. Not to mention there are some RPG faction relationship management functions that are pretty good while being reminiscent of War of the Chosen's factions. All in all, you will feel at home in Phoenix Point, if you can survive it. Now let's talk about Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Demon Hunters? Demon Hunters. That's a... Yeah, that's that's the title. The only one of the de demon... Demon... I... I never know how to say that word, man. <laughs> Do you love Warhammer 40k? Well, 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 kiddo. I'm here to tell you about Warhammer XCOM 40k War of the Chaos Gate Chosen Demon Hunters. Demon Hunters, I'm not sure. That was mostly just fun to say. Leave me alone. Demon Hunters, I'm sticking with that as I'll refer to it moving forward, is a great turn-based strategy game and my favorite game on this topic. This game is aesthetically grimdark as grimdark gets. You play as the Grey Wolves, an elite sect of the Ultramarines some of the baddest badasses that you will ever meet. In this game, you fight against the Bloom, a disease that turns its victims into gross, bloodthirsty slaves to the Chaos Plague God. In broad terms, that is. You will rip and tear your way through enemy after enemy, and I mean rip and tear. And not only with a chainsword, while that is still an option, your guns also manage to blow limbs off and shred through the torsos of your enemies. This game is gory, bloody, and an altogether good time for the whole family. Not to mention there's this great system of using the environment to your advantage. You can blow up ammo crates, knock down massive pillars, blow up cranes, smack braziers of flames into your enemies. There is just a never ending list of ways to kill these villainous bloated enemies. This game is just fun. It isn't overly complicated. It isn't stupidly difficult. It's just a bloody good time. And I mean bloody. Anyhow, I hope you had a wonderful day and continue to. If you would like to see three more games on this topic, go slap that like button like you're slapping an advent officer. Enjoy content like this, slappy wappy that subscribe button below. I regret my life choices. Now have a good day and don't die. Bitch.
Thank you.